This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It. And welcome to our brand new van life series in Wales in our babe Custard. In this video you are going to see some wild swimming, a cooking disaster, uh, how to speak Welsh, <laughs> how to create a fashion forward lifestyle <laughs> and we're going to show you what it's like convoying with other van lifers. Van lifers, assemble! <laughs> Wales, the land of deep green valleys, stunning mountains and tumbling waterfalls where rugby is held higher than the Queen and if you come, be prepared to be pelted with Welsh cakes. The land where if your name isn't Jones, Williams or Evans, you're probably not from round here. The land where you're not prosecuted for having an intimate relationship with a sheep. Wales? Is that in England? No, buddy Bach. This isn't England. It's our home country of Wales. It was time. Time to leave the farm Custard had been staying on for five months. The sun was here for us and there were four extremely excited people ready for a new adventure. All right, lads. We are about to set off, finally. I'm really excited to show Tanya and Adam around our home country because every time we like tour it, we become hardcore Welsh ambassadors for the Welsh and the Welsh people and the Welsh grounds that we live on because it's just <laughs> so beautiful isn't it? The Welsh grounds are so lovely. <laughs> Come along on this journey with us if you are in lockdown don't worry about it we'll take you around and we'll show you everything that we do. Yes! To the Brecon Beacons! <laughs> Liver spot. Happy with this. Fans. Reservoir. Decent, that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're right, mate. After not travelling for so long, it was nice to be able to ease into it, have good chats with our new mates, and enjoy being back in nature. Tanya and Adam are known for finding the best and most beautiful park up spots, and this one did not disappoint. We didn't even know it existed. What a spot to spend the night. Time for a cup of tea. Definitely packed all the wrong stuff, Craig. All right. Obviously, you know, this jacket doesn't really go with this dress, and I thought, oh, because of the weather, it'd be lovely. It's bloody freezing. Is it? So. <laughs> you look cute, though. Oh, thanks. Show them the sleeves, babe. Show them the sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> so. It only turned into a fucking gilet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> morning Clive. Good morning. How's it going babe? You okay? Yeah not too bad. So we just stayed here last night you know got to know our our new friends. They are a bit weird they do smell a bit so we're not sure we're gonna do the whole trip with them are we? Maybe not no. Maybe not but um but we're both leaving now to go to like another spot. We basically woke up in paradise this morning right next to the water we had a workout, like proper van life wankers. So yeah, we're going to get back on the road today, find another spot and just have another chill, basically. Another chill, yeah, because I mm. think I'm going to come up with some plans for the end of the week. Mm. All right, we've made it to the next spot. The best part about traveling with these guys is this little gem keeps cooking for us. Chef Tanya. Oh, look at these. Go on. Tell them what your recipe is. Vegan duck pancakes. Muck oh duck. baby. McDuck. 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 <laughs> Fake duck. It's not. It's vegan. Everything's yeah. vegan. Adam's just showed up. Always late to the party. Yeah. What would you like Ad? Biscuit tea, uh, jam on toast tea, coffee. Jam on toast tea. Smell that. Jam on toast please. You want to Yeah. <laughs> That's My insane. My kind of guy. My kind of guy. What are you, you quirky? <laughs> all right so we've been at this spot all day we actually recorded the podcast but we had to come out because of this epic light 
It's down in there. So we're the only ones left when we arrived. There was loads of cars here. But now it's just custard and jets. We're trying to get used to life on the road, life in the van. Life is always peace, you know. But these guys have been looking after us. We've got a lot of work commitments and little things are tying up. So they've been cooking, banging food for us. Adam just made a curry. Beautiful. It was, it was decent. Six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this for a scene, lads. Crikey. Whales putting on a show. Before we continue, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're new to the internet, the thought of making your own website can be overwhelming. I want to sell these vintage jumpers that I've been collecting, but I need a website. There's something, there's something popping up. It says, the internet. It's that virus. Have you heard of Squarespace? What's that, love? Creating a website couldn't be easier, as Squarespace have loads of templates and website layouts that you can choose from. Sick boys. They have customizable fonts and colors, and you can even build your own shop to sell your vintage jumpers. Just like Margaret. Oh, I'm going to sell loads of jumpers. You can even customize your website name and make your very own logo. Create your Squarespace website today and start balling like our Margaret here. Improve your online credibility now. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. Then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash king in it to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Good morning from Brecon Beacons. This morning, Adam and I ran up that mountain in the back, which was mad. It was like a blizzard at the top, Baltic. Didn't take a rain jacket, it was great fun. Just great to be back in the mountains, back in some fresh country air, zoning out and just loving life. Great to be doing this with some friends as well. Like we're eating together and having cups of teas together. Flush in it, babes. Custard actually looks quite clean for once as well, look at that. Is it? Quick, because we're leaving. So today we're supposed to be going to waterfall country. We'll get to that. But we met this lovely lady called Emma, who's a farmer. And she was like, do you need some water? And so we're going to the farm now so we can fill up custard. And we've literally just run out as well. Love that about Wales. Everyone's just so friendly, isn't they? Yeah. She said to the girls, she's like, girls, I know it's like wild camping. So if you want to come in my house and have a bath. It's so nice. <laughs> So nice. I should have been like, do you know what, Em? I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me just like legs up in a bathtub. Like, this is glorious. Her husband comes home and there's just a random <laughs> girl in the bath. Oh, love, don't mind me. Just my mate washing her bits in the bath, love. <laughs> but before we bumped into any locals, we thought we would clue the guys up on the Welsh culture and language. So I'm going to be teaching you a few sayings that you might need to know on your trip through Wales. Great. Okay, so, Adam. Yes. How do you say hello in Welsh? Hello in Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I do not know. Hechluch. <laughs> Wicked start. Wicked start. Did you make that up? Yes. <laughs> Craig, Craig, do you want to fill him in? Borida. No! Is that wrong? Oh, it does. Definitely hello. No. Oh, that's good morning. Well, that's good morning. Well. Oh my god, it's Craig! <laughs> hello in Welsh is Shumai. 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 Cymru am Bith. I'll come here and. <laughs> Bith. <laughs> Cymru, you surely know what Cymru is. Cymru? Cymru is Wales, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Wales, or Wales is beautiful. It means Wales forever. Wales forever. Cymru am Biff. Cymru am Biff. I'm going to give you a word, and I would like you to say it to the camera. This is just one word. What? Is this the longest word, like, in the world? Shall I give you an assisted start? Yeah. So two L's is And a CH is Gillen Gocking Rachen. Show on Doch Roch William. Sounds like he's speaking Doch Racky. I might as well be. Tis silly oil Gocking Coch. That end bit is literally the end bit is all anybody knows. Go, go, go. 
Go, go, go. go, 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 go. And um, what does this word mean? It's the name of a train station. What? Oh my god. Yeah. Next yeah, stop definitely. is. No. no. <laughs> is that it? That's it. Wow. Okay, so uh, class, so I will also be printing off the Welsh national anthem for you to learn word by word, and there will be an exam on Friday. Your other yellow hat that you loved. Oh, you just oh. went purple instead of yellow. No, do you remember the yellow one I lost in Switzerland? Mm. I need a new hat. He's trying to catch a domestic. <laughs> <laughs> Bad loafers, assemble! <laughs> <laughs> to the waterfalls. So apparently this is the most concentrated uh, section of waterfalls in the whole of Wales. So the one we're going to, you can swim in. So some of us have got our bathers, some of us haven't. Some of us are going to get thrown in, some of us aren't. <laughs> And also to the people who are always concerned that we've got the wrong footwear on, we've actually got actual hiking shoes on. Yeah, buddy! So no slipping today, because it has <laughs> well, been raining. Well, it wouldn't be a kingly vlog if no one fell over, would it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this way. Amy left the bus open, so we've got to go back and lock it now. Oh. Good start. <laughs> we'll be there in a bit, guys. Honestly, we're the biggest faffers to like travel with, which is probably why we've never really done it with anyone before. Well, we haven't got any friends because so of you. Big sorry to Tanya and Adam um, for all the messing about and all the faffing that we've done. Uh, we really appreciate patience and time. Right, we've seen it now. Should we go? <laughs> done. If you've lost your local delivery driver, he might be in the waterfall. I looked at a sign and I thought, yeah, that's the right way. And somehow we're actually going that way. So <laughs> we may not get there today. We looked at a sign and you said it was going that way and we were going that way. Yeah, we, we've decided to go that way on my recommendation. But we never do that, Craig, and there's reasons for that. Well, no, I said I, I was saying to Adam then, I've learned if we're ever taking a track and, you, and it's the deciding factor who's going to choose where to go i always just go with yours because if it's wrong it's your fault you can blame me and if it's my fault i'll never hear the end of it <laughs> bringing the sustenance i'm good to you do you want to see a sandwich got sandwich what yogurt sandwiches in the bark park for the boys I'm like a walking kitchen a couple of people just passed us and they said they've been in and he said um he nearly went into shock it was that cold so really looking forward to this. Ready for a dip, Clive? <laughs> All right then. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's lovely. It's warm. It's a tropical day. Green. That's a bit nippy. <laughs> oh, baby, that's cold. So it's going to be quite refreshing. It's quite terrifying. Well, baby. and I was like, Tan, you got the keys for Jits, yeah? And she's like, you got the keys for Custard? And we're both like, nah, <laughs> nah. So we sat on the floor waiting for the boys and we've just all arrived back and look who's come. I want to tell you. It's the Travel Bees. Yeah, <laughs> this is Alex and Emma from the Travel Bees. Alex and Emma are pretty new to van life. These adventurers are usually off prancing around, scoffing the best food in Europe, driving cross country in America, chilling in Asia, all the while living off a budget. After a hefty van scam, they are back on the road in between their van build. Good, good. Hi, lovely to meet you. Hi. Emma did it all by herself, but <laughs> for the women, for the women. Go on, girl. It looks amazing. We whipped up a bad boy Thai curry for the team sat down and had a few drinks. Later that evening, 
just as night fell, there was a huge bang. In a nutshell, the piping for our diesel heater came loose, heated up the little cupboard, and Amy's tin of fake tan exploded. Uh, my bag's oh, popped. It's going to blow up in our hands now. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my God. It feels a bit hot. Can you put that outside? Yeah, that's probably a good idea for now, isn't it? I'm like, someone's thrown a frick in the van. Get out there now. Yeah. <laughs> We're all like, where are they? We're all recovering from the explosion under this seat. We still don't know what it was. Tanya's washing Amy's wig in the sink. <laughs> Adam's making hot water bottles for the guys. It's all kicking off in the van. <laughs> We've actually really lucked out with the weather again. It is supposed to change and today, all six of us are going to go on a boat. <laughs> Here we go lads. A beautiful day in Wales. Convoys back in action. This, this is us going in the wrong direction to where we're supposed to be going. A little bit tight. Um, just make sure you don't drop into that. And this is us trying to drive up a road that we don't need to drive up. Any, any chance you can reverse, do you think? Yeah, so... <laughs> a little bit of a tight spot here. <laughs> Ooh, it's maybe not take that road again. So if you're going to Bracken Park boats and you've got a five tonner, don't come down this road. We found ourselves a car park. All right, we're attempting it. On foot. This is us walking up a hill that we don't need to walk up. I guess you don't realise how fit you are until you start walking. He's gone. He's off. Lated me. So after all that, we're in the wrong bloody place, aren't we? It could only happen to King in it. Travel beans and jits, they're already there. They're waiting for us and we're like, oh, we're actually 16 minutes away. We're not sure how we managed it, but we'll be there when we can. I've got a feeling this is going to be a really good day though. You know, we're just, the start hasn't gone very well for us. <laughs> So on this side, we've got wonderful blue skies, but then on this side, we've got dark clouds. I'm so glad the sun came out. I know, it's been lovely, like all morning. It says around four, four o'clock, I think it's supposed to rain. And obviously we got here late, so. And on the way here, it was hailing. So yeah. I'm a little bit afraid <laughs> that this is gonna be like a boat ride from hell. I know, <laughs> but they've got lids anyway, so we'll be fine. <laughs> this is for eight people. We all have to get in that, yeah. Guys, snug as a bug in the rug. Look how cute she is! <laughs> Putting the roof on because it started to rain. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, sorry guys. Right. So we're all in. Um, we're all nice and warm and snug and cosy. We've got all the snacks, haven't we guys? Yeah. We have the highest chocolate snacks. Tanya brought wonky um, carrots. 45 people the whole bag. Woo. Very happy with that. <laughs> We've got some jelly beans, some mango, some watermelons. Oh yeah, lots Wendy the of worm. goodies, digestive biscuits, and, and of course, cider. the guys brought cider. <laughs> <laughs> what else would we <laughs> Captain Stocker, doing a sterling job. We haven't crashed yet. I haven't crashed yet, but I've only been in the wheel for a minute. You just said he hadn't got his glasses as well, so that's yeah, a bit concerning. See, I can't see anything. I could put my sunnies on, but I don't think it's the weather for it. <laughs> you can just see all the snacks. <laughs> so the sun finally came out and it's just wonderful. Craig, watch where you're going. We're heading back now. I think we've got some burgers for everybody when we get in. I think we're gonna just wrap up nice and warm, get in custody of the bus and watch a film tonight. Okay, the guys are busy filming. A little van tour. Craig's having a little lay down. Good day, babes. Yeah, great day. I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm not really doing much, but that might be why. It's a nice spot, isn't it? Yeah. Such a good view. Can you, you just take a minute to look at that sensational view we've got out that window? Frames it wonderfully. So I know I said earlier that we've got burgers for the boys, but we've got curry left over from last night because we made like. What enough the rice cooker? Enough to feed the 5,000. Yeah, I'm not sure, Craig. Sure, I'm rice cooker. Why are you doing my rice cooker? It's just sort of someone, dis pop, pop someone disliked it. But the rice is on, and I'm going to get the curry out of the fridge. It's like Tetris in here. It's packed in so. What's the daisy? Here we go. Love. Yeah. Oh, my axe. 
Oh no. That's dinner over with then. Right, so burgers it is then. Burgers. You are an absolute calamity. I was really looking forward to that. There is a little bit left. That's what you get for trying to film your dinner on on YouTube. Just trying to show people the van life problems that we have, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, guys. Yeah. You know you said. You know I said curry was for dinner. Oh God, what? I dropped it. Oh no! no. no. <laughs> what did I say oh, to you? The floor. Did I, did I not say to you earlier? I was like, do you want the lid? I said safe. You're like, yeah, no, it's safe. It wouldn't have fit in the in the fridge, but yeah, I dropped it. Was it comical? Oh, no. I got my converse and everything. I so, did. Um, we're gonna have burgers. I did hear rumours of burgers <laughs> yeah, on the phone. Yes. That's good. That's fine. That's not a downgrade. Okay. Oh, oh my god. All right, lads. The cinema screen is up. We've got a full house. <laughs> you know this is uh, eight pound fifty per head for the movie, right? Of course. Awesome. <laughs> what are we watching? Spider Man Into the Spidey Verse. Awesome. So that is it for this week's video, lads. We hope you enjoyed our first Wales episode. If you did, give us a like. Make sure you comment down below because all of this helps our channel to grow. And obviously, make sure you press subscribe as well. A wonderful first vlog back. I'm so tired, Craig. I'm always so tired on a Sunday. It just, it takes it out of us, doesn't it? Mm. It was so wonderful to be traveling with Tanya and Adam, you know, meet up with Alex and Emma from Travel Beans. But just, it was such a lovely week with great people, wasn't it? Yeah, I can't believe it's only been a week. We've a done week? so much. I know. So yeah, we've got an action-packed next couple of months and we can't wait to just show you around Wales some more. Yeah, so guys, uh, always remember, if you're watching our videos, we have one ethos that we always share with you. Make sure you rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye.